In this video, we're going to look at forming algebraic expressions. Um, before you watch this video, it's quite useful to watch the video on algebraic notation. Okay, let's have a look at a typical example. So here's a typical question which is on forming algebraic ex uh, expressions. So, we've got small posters cost 8 pence each. Large posters cost 12 pence each. Write down an expression for the cost in pence of x small posters and y large posters. So in other words, x is the number of small posters you're getting and y is the number of posters or the number of large posters you're going to get. Okay. Now, if you were to buy two posters, two small posters, you would do 2 times 8 to find the cost. So that would be 16p. If you were to buy three small posters, you would do 3 times 8, which would be 24p. If you buy x posters, to find the cost, what you would do is you do x times 8. But in algebra, you have to put the number first. So that would be 8x. So that's the cost of the small posters. Now, to find the cost of the large posters, well, again, if you were to buy two large posters, it would be 2 times 12, which is 24p. If you were to buy three of them, you would do 3 times 12, which is 36p. If you buy y of them, you're going to do y times 12. But again, in algebra, the numbers have got to come first, so it's going to be plus, to find the total cost, you'd add them together, plus 12y. So this would be the cost in pence of x small posters and y large posters. It would be 8 times x and 12 times y. So it would be 8x plus 12y. Okay, so here's another question. Uh, a cafe sells cakes and buns. Write down an expression for the cost in pence of white cakes at 40 pence each and three buns at 60 pence each. Okay, actually, well, the buns are quite straightforward. Three buns at 60p, well, three times 60 would be one pound 80, or 180, because his pence 180 pence. Now we need to consider the cakes. You're buying white cakes at 40 pence each. So, for instance, one cake would be 40p, two cakes would be 80p. Three cakes would be one uh, one pound twenty or one hundred and twenty p. So in other words, you're timesing forty p by the number of cakes. So to find out the cost of y cakes, you're going to do y times forty. Remember in algebra, though, the number's got to come first, so it's going to be forty y. So the cost of the cakes would be forty y, and the cost of the three buns. Well, the three buns cost one pound eighty, but we'll have to do it in pence, so plus one hundred and eighty. So the costs. An expression for the cost in pence for y cakes at 40 pence and three buns at 60 pence would be 40y, 40 times y, the number of cakes you get, plus 180, and that's the three buns at 60 pence. Okay, here's another question. Anne is x years old. David is three years younger than Anne. Ken is twice as old as Anne. The total of their ages is 25. Write down an expression for David's age in terms of x. So x is Anne's age and David is 3 years younger. So to find David's age, we're going to do x, her age, and we take away 3. For instance, if Anne was 20, David would be 17. But Anne's x, so we're going to have to do x, take away 3. Okay? So David's age is x minus 3. Anne's age, take away 3. Ken is twice as old as Anne. So to get Ken's age, you would times Anne's age by 2. In other words, if Anne was 20, Ken would be 40. If Anne was 15, Ken would be 30. You're doubling, you're timesing by 2, Anne's age. In algebra, to times x by 2, you would do 2 times x. But remember, you don't write the multiplication sign. So it would just be 2x. Okay, and the last part then is to form an equation in x and use it to find out Anne's age. So Anne's age, David's age and Ken's age all add up to be 25. So we're going to write that in as, a, as an equation. Anne's age is x. Plus, because it says the sum of the total of the ages, that means add up. Plus, David's age. Well, David's age is x minus 3. And Ken's age. Ken is 2x, so plus 2x. So in other words, if you add up their ages, you get, as your answer, 25. This is an equation because obviously we've got our x's and we've got equals 25. Let's add it up. x plus x plus 2x's. Well, that would be 4x's. 1x, 2x's, and over 2 would be 4x's minus 3 and that equals 25 and then you just need to solve this equation so to solve the equation you add 3 to both sides if you can't remember how to do this watch the video on solving equations so you add 3 to both sides and you get add 3 add 3 so you're going to get 4x equals 28 remember you're adding 3 to get rid of the minus 3 
And then to get rid of the 4 times x, you're going to divide both sides by 4 to get rid of the times by 4. So divide by 4, divide by 4, so you're going to get x equals 28 divided by 4 is 7. So x is 7, and Anne is x, so Anne is 7 years old. Okay, so the key thing on this question is to make sure that whenever you're doing the expressions, you get those right. So 3 years younger, you take away 3 from x. Twice the age of Anne, so 2 times her age, so 2 times x. And then to make the equation, you then just, it's because it said the total of their ages, you add up their individual ages, so you add up hers, x, David's, x minus 3, and Ken's, 2x, and you put that equal to 25. And then you work it out by adding up the x's and then solving it like an equation. Okay, and in our last question, it says, this flow diagram shows how Sam's lucky number is connected to Meg's lucky number. So Meg's lucky number is x, so that's her lucky number. To get Sam's lucky number, you subtract 3, and then you multiply by 2. Now, you need to be careful in which order you're doing this. So you start off with hers. So her lucky number is x. You're going to subtract 3. So that's straightforward. That's x subtract 3. Now, you need to multiply this by 2. Now, you've got to be careful how you do this, okay? You can either, if you want to multiply this by 2, you can either times both of the things by 2. So you could do 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times minus 3, which would be minus 6. Okay, or 2 times 3 is 6 and have the minus sign. So that would be one possible answer. Another way to do it, though, to times this by 2 is to put it in brackets. So you could put it in brackets, and you could do 2 bracket x minus 3. So both of these stand for taking away 3 and then times them by 2. Or you could take away 3, but if you want to times it by 2, you've got to times both of it by 2 to get 2x minus 6.